Well, I hope you're having a good lunchtime out there, East Texas. It's still pretty soggy here in Tyler. The roads are soaked, so is the grass and just about everything else. 42, the temperature right now here at the studios. Feels like 39, though. The wind chill still a bit of a factor throughout the afternoon, but not too bad. Temperatures hanging in the mid 40s all across East Texas. 44 Lufkin, 45 in Nacogdoches, and 43 here in Tyler. The next 12 hours, we're not done with the rain yet. We're just done with the heaviest rain, so that is some good news. Rain chances will continue all afternoon long with those temperatures staying in the mid 40s. We could see a transition over to a few flakes of snow as we head into tonight, but with the heaviest precipitation moving out, seeing any accumulation or major travel impacts will certainly not be in the cards for later today. You can see that leading at, or the backing edge of that rainfall starting to move out of East Texas, still dealing with some moderate to heavy rain up near Mount Pleasant, Pittsburgh, down through Gilmer as well. Tyler, we're wrapping up with the heaviest rain, just light rain shower from here on out throughout the afternoon. Still some heavy rain, though, out there along I-20 down through Carthage and Center, back down toward Hemp Hill. Lufkin, you guys done with the heaviest rain. Nacogdoches, you guys are wrapping up as well. Still a flash flood watch in place for these southern counties until 6 o'clock tonight. They scaled this back from 6 o'clock Friday morning to be 6 o'clock tonight because some of those rainfall totals, while still heavy, not as high as the Weather Service was expecting across deep east Texas. We'll put a few totals on the map here. There's a 1.6 inch radar estimate in the last 48 hours from uh, San Augustine County, 1.3 north of Nacogdoches. Here in Smith County, we picked up a pretty good total here. You can see a 3.5 estimate for us over the past 48 hours across the uh, greater East Texas area. Average it together about an inch and a half uh, the average rainfall out there over the past 48. As far as where the snow is right now, that's back out northwest of Dallas. Winter storm warnings are in place for a few counties in Texas and a lot of counties in Oklahoma as this drifts our direction. A few of those snowflakes may impact our forecast, but again, nothing major expected. The heaviest rain pushes out as we continue on into the afternoon. Light rain showers sticking around into tonight. As we head overnight early Friday, you know some of that blue wraps back around that low spins down north of I-20 into our northern counties up there. Again, might see a few flakes, maybe a light wintry mix, but the surface temperatures should just be too warm, not expecting to see any accumulation or major travel impacts, and then we clear out and the sunshine shine comes back in for later in the day Friday. Again, if we do see any winter weather potential tonight, likely to be north of I-20. Not saying that you guys down here might not see a few flakes, but the chances are rather slim and the places that do see it don't expect major impacts. For today, though, rain showers start to come to an end. 45 going to be our high this afternoon for tonight. Rain totally coming to an end with a few flakes of snow as the system moves out the next seven days. Look at that weekend. 65 Saturday, 67 on Sunday. Lots of sunshine, even though another rain chance pops in on Monday. The 60s last through next week and we clear back up for Tuesday and Wednesday. A beautiful weekend for sure. Thank you so much, Michael. All right. Well